One of the most simple pieces of gym equipment may also be one of the most functional pieces of equipment. I'm talking about a good old fashioned kettlebell. You can improve your cardio, full body strength, mobility, and even coordination. I've been getting after it with the again faster kettlebell. So today I'm gonna break down my findings for y'all. What's up y'all, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym. And for today's review, I've got a kettlebell from Again Faster. In this review, I'm gonna take you through everything that these kettlebells have to offer from the price, some features, of course the pros and the cons, but what would we be doing here if I did not include who should and who should not purchase one of these to add to their home gym? But before I get started, we've reviewed a lot of kettlebells on barbend.com. And if you wanna browse our best list, just simply search Barbend Best Kettlebells. You can find out which ones we like the best, but also which ones will suit you the best. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let's start with what I like about these kettlebells. So nobody wants a bad grip when it comes to throwing weight around in the gym. And that's especially true with kettlebells because you're quite literally throwing them around while you're working out with them. So a bad grip really isn't something you should be worried about here because Again Faster crafted their kettlebells with a texture powder coat finish. So it's gonna give you a nice grip on its own, but if you wanna utilize some chalk, you can easily do so gonna mix well with these kettlebells. The handle is also it's a little bit flat on the top and the sides if you look up close, so it might feel even better in your hands. And the wide grip handle is also gonna easily accommodate not only for single-handed grips, but for two-handed grips. So you can easily do some goblet squats with these, no problem. So the cast iron used here was made with a single pour. So what that means is this is one solid piece. You don't have to worry about the handle and the bell ever coming loose because they're not welded together. There's no plugs here, like you can often find with some kettlebells made of lesser quality. The handle is also color coded. It's pretty standard with kettlebells nowadays, but it's still a nice touch because you can easily pick and choose which kettlebell you want and get right to working out. Since this is not coated in rubber, the bottom is nice and flat. And once you set it down, it's not gonna move. It's just gonna sit flat on whatever surface you have it on. And there's weight options ranging from nine pounds up to 70 pounds. So there's a good chance you can find one of these kettlebells to suit your specific needs. Plus you can purchase these individually like I have here, or you can get them in sets. So you have two different sets to work from, individual set or the set of pairs. So when I say individual set, you get one kettlebell for each weight option. Once again, that's nine to 70 pounds. And with the pairs, you get two of each. Okay, so now you might ask me, Jake, what about those potential cons with these kettlebells? Okay, so let's start with the weight. Yeah, up to 70 pounds, that might be enough resistance for you, but if it's not, well, Tough luck because that's as high as these go. If you need something heavier than that, then you're gonna have to look elsewhere. Some companies actually offer up to 200 pounds for their kettlebells. And since these are not competition kettlebells, they're not uniform in size. So as you go up in weight, the size is gonna also increase. And that could be you know, some sort of an issue for specific exercises for some of y'all. If that is the case, you do want them specifically to be the same size. Well, you're definitely gonna have to go find yourself some competition kettlebells. They're also not cheap. So this 53 pound kettlebell, it's right around hundred dollars. You can find some other kettlebells that are really similar in quality, nearly identical for a little bit cheaper, but it is worth mentioning that you do get free shipping from again faster while some of those other companies might not offer that free shipping. So that's something you got to remember as well. And let's be honest, available space is always an issue when it comes to workout equipment. So if you don't have enough space for a full set or maybe even for one of these, then I would definitely suggest getting yourself 
an adjustable kettlebell system, or maybe even a kettlebell grip attachment. And that's gonna essentially transform any existing dumbbells that you might have at home into a kettlebell. Okay, so let's talk about some money now. As I said, you can purchase these individually or you have two different sets you can work with. So with the individual kettlebells, the cheapest option is in fact that nine pound kettlebell. It's gonna run you right around 35 bucks. This 53 pound kettlebell, like I said, it's about $100. In the 70 pound kettlebell, it's gonna be right around 130 bucks. Now with those sets, okay, so the set of individual kettlebells, remember you get one of each, that's gonna run you just under $500. If you were to get the set of pairs, it's gonna be about $900. But remember, you do get free shipping from Again Faster, so that might relieve some of the stress for you. Okay, so I definitely would not consider these cheap, but since you do in fact have the luxury of purchasing them in two different sets, you know, you could save money in the long run as opposed to being forced to purchase individual kettlebells from some other companies. You know, obviously workout equipment is an investment. So with these kettlebells, I mean, they feel really durable, really sturdy, and I think they could last you potentially a lifetime, you know, just as long as you're not tossing them on concrete or doing something crazy. This could be the last set of kettlebells you really ever need. So that's something that's really nice in my opinion. But if they do fall out of your budget, I would definitely just go and get yourself an adjustable kettlebell system but I have noticed that some of them don't even go up to 70 pounds. That's something you gotta think about too because you'll eventually run into that problem of your weight capping out. Okay, so let's talk about the build now that went into these kettlebells. Now, I was not able to find the exact dimensions for the handles online. I had to go to a different website. It's not on the Again Faster website. So I was able to find that this 53 pound kettlebell, it's 1.5 inches in diameter, which feels pretty accurate in my opinion. It feels really similar to some other 53 pound kettlebells out there. It's just something worth mentioning that I wasn't able to get it exactly for you guys today. The handle's also pretty wide at the base, so it's gonna easily accommodate for any two-handed grips. You're not gonna have any issue with that at all. And it's actually a bit flat on the top as you go around right here. So I personally like that. It feels pretty good in my hands. Some of you might not like that, but it's just something I had to bring up. The handle's also color-coded, which is just really nice. It makes it super easy to grab and go with your weights especially once you memorize it and be like, oh, that's a green, oh, that's 53 pounds, cool. Let's grab it and get right to work. So the double cast iron here was also made with one single pour. So the handle and the bell are one solid piece. You don't have to worry about anything coming loose over time. There's no plugs, it's not welded together. It's one solid piece, it's not gonna break on you. This is not coated in rubber, so it's gonna sit nice and flat. There's no seam down here, nothing to get in the way of making it sit nice and flat when you go to set it down. I personally love that. And the powder coat here, it's got a nice texture. It's gonna give you a pretty good grip on its own, but if you wanna utilize some chalk, it's gonna easily mix with these kettlebells. All right, so let's do a quick walk around with this kettlebell now. I really like the textured powder coat they put on here. It's a nice matte black finish. It's gonna look good in your gym, but it's also gonna hold well with chalk and give you a pretty good grip on its own. Now with the handle up here, I don't know the exact diameter, but it seems to be about 1.5 inches or so compared to some other kettlebells that I've used. Nice and wide down here for your two-handed grips, no problem whatsoever. The top and the sides right here, it's pretty flat and that could fill differently in your hands. It could fill it up a little bit more for some people. It might be nice, you might not like it, but you know, it is there. It's something that you need to know about. You do have a green color coating right here. This is to show this is the 53 pound kettlebell. That's gonna change depending on which option you use. 
And something I thought is kind of cool right here, it's a little bit different than other kettlebells. Usually the engravings on the back will have both pounds and kilograms for each kettlebell. Well, with Again Faster, they put theirs on the front, which I think it just looks kind of cool. You got the kilograms up top, you know, the Again Faster in the middle, and then the pounds underneath. So that's pretty nice. And if you flip this over on its side, this is a really wide, obviously flat base right here. And there's no seam. There's also, you know, no other seam anywhere else on this kettlebell. Without, without that seam underneath, you know, nothing's getting in the way. It's going to sit nice and flat, not wobble on you. But it's really nice knowing that there's no welding right here. So it just shows you that this is one solid piece of iron. It's going to be really durable and last you for a long time. Okay, so who should purchase these again faster kettlebells? Well, if you do in fact want yourself a nice durable kettlebell, which <laughs> why wouldn't you? This is a pretty good option for you to choose from because they are in fact made from a double cast iron and they're molded from a single pour. So the handle and the bell, one big solid piece. You don't have to worry about the two becoming loose over time. Just of course, be smart. Don't throw them around and drop them. <laughs> if you do get sweaty hands while you're working out, like myself, my palms tend to sweat a little bit while I'm lifting. I think you'll have some pretty good success with the textured powder coat. I personally did, but also if you have some chalk you like to use, it's going to probably mix well with these kettlebells as well. And since you can in fact purchase these in a set of pairs, if you have a workout buddy, y'all both can use the same weight at the same time. Or if you have a weight bench at home, you can also use these for bench press. Okay, so what about the people who might not want to purchase these kettlebells? Well, this is kind of a personal preference, but if you don't like the bit of a flatness, I guess you could say, on the top of these handles, definitely just go and find yourself another kettlebell that's nice and round. There's plenty of options out there. If you don't like the texture powder coat, there's also kettlebells out there that don't utilize a powder coat finish. And maybe you want your kettlebells to be wrapped in rubber just to give you that slight decreased chance of messing up your hardwood floors or any floors really. You can find some for sure, but that doesn't mean you can just carelessly drop them. Still gotta be careful with those as well. And if you want your kettlebells to be uniform in size, regardless of their weight, like I said, you're not gonna get that here. If that's the case, if that's what you really want, definitely go get yourself some competition kettlebells. All right, well, that's a wrap on today's review over the Again Faster kettlebells. These are super durable, and for the quality, they're not gonna necessarily break the bank. Since they are made from a single pour of double cast iron, you don't have to worry about the handle and the bell coming loose over time because they are, in fact, one solid piece. The handles are also color-coded. That's just gonna make it super easy to grab and go. And the base is, in fact, seamless, so I don't think you'll have any trouble at all when you're going to store them on any type of shelf, maybe even just the floor. They're gonna sit nice and flat. The weight does max out at 70 pounds. So if you need something heavier than that, you know, you're gonna have to look elsewhere. But for a lot of y'all watching, there's some pretty good weight options here for you to choose from. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope this video was helpful, showed you a little bit of what to expect if you were to add these kettlebells to your home gym. As always, stay on the lookout for my next review, but for now, head over to barbend.com and you can read more on this product. Just search Barbend Again Faster Kettlebell Review and you can find all the details we discussed here today. I'll see y'all next time.